Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we're talking accessories for the Galaxy Tab S8. A very capable tablet right out of the box, but having a few useful accessories always elevates the user experience and of course makes things a little more fun. And if you're curious about the Tab S8, I will be leaving a link to my review somewhere up here and in the description down below. Also, I'm not gonna be including the S Pen in the in the list of accessories because this is included in the box when you buy your Galaxy Tab S8. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. Now, the first thing we're gonna be talking about is a case. Now, I'm gonna start off by saying that it is unfortunate that they're just aren't that many choices for cases, especially keyboard cases from third-party brands for Samsung tablets. So it took me quite some time to find a case that I actually liked. Now this is the Spigen, or Spigen, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce the name, Rugged Armor Pro. And from the name, I wasn't thrilled um, because it had the word armor in it. I don't like my cases too bulky and I don't like it when there's just too much going on. But when I received it, it actually surprised me because it's it keeps the form factor relatively slim and compact and it isn't too bulky and it adds a good layer of protection for the tablet. So yeah, pretty much all I'm looking for in a case. So it has a magnetic cover that fully supports sleep and wake functions that you can actually fold so you can have two viewing angles. You can have it like this or down like this, which is nice. On the right side of the tablet, you do get a cutout for the fingerprint reader, which is handy because if you're using this without a case, the lock button is so flushed against the chassis, it is hard to find it sometimes. So having that cut out makes it really easy to find it and just get started. So yeah, on the back, you do get the armor like design, which is something I could have definitely lived without, but I'm just glad that it isn't too bulky and you get a little slot on the back for the S Pen as well and it holds it very firmly in place like you don't have to worry about accidentally dislodging your S Pen even if you wanted to so yeah this is a really good case if you don't need a keyboard If you want a case with a keyboard, you can get Samsung's book cover cases. Now, this is the same version, so it is the one without the trackpad. But yeah, again, it is sad to see brands like Logitech not really having anything for Samsung tablets. I would love to see a combo touch keyboard case for the Tab S8. I would buy that in a heartbeat. But unfortunately, as of making this video, you can only really get a good keyboard case from Samsung. And I think it's important to note that I did get this keyboard case for free through pre-order deals on the Samsung website, but I still think it's a really good uh, keyboard case overall. The design is very similar to Apple's Smart Folio keyboard case, but with much more clicky keys, which I like. Let's do a little sound test. So yeah. I think that sounds great. And in terms of actual typing experience, the key travel is actually really good. It amazed me how easily I was able to adapt to this keyboard because I was a little skeptical since it is pretty small. The Tab S8 is an 11 inch tablet, which makes the overall form factor and size of the keyboard very small as well. But yeah, I had no problems typing on this thing. Typing experience is a 10 out of 10. On the back of this case, you do get a little slot for the S Pen. It doesn't have like a cover for it. So this could easily just slip off and you could easily lose your pen. But if you would wanna store this in a bag, they do have this little magnetic slot in the middle, which makes it convenient for like when you throw this in a bag. The Tab S8 does connect to the keyboard case via the smart connector. So you would never have to worry about battery life or Bluetooth connectivity, which again is great. Now there are only two things I dislike about this tablet and they aren't necessarily deal breakers, but 
the first one is the viewing angle. Now you only ever get this angle, there's no way to change it, it's just literally this. Now it's not a bad angle, it's actually ideal for video calls and typing when you have the tablet really, really close to you. But it's not always the case. Sometimes you want this a little further away from you. So in that case, your video call angle or your viewing angle for watching content may be a little off, especially with that reflective screen. Now, the second thing I don't like about the case is how it doesn't cover the sides, making the sides susceptible to possible dents and scratches. So yeah, those are just the two things that I don't really like about it. But again, they're not deal breakers overall. I think this is a great case if you need a keyboard on the go. Next up is a Bluetooth mouse. This is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. It's a great little mouse if you have multiple devices and you're constantly switching between them, but I don't really recommend this. you get this one because it is a tad pricey. If you're more on a budget, you can get the Logitech Pebble, which has one uh, Bluetooth connection and you get a little receiver as well. It's super cheap too. So yeah, just having a Bluetooth mouse to get around the operating system with is great, especially if you have a case like the book cover slim because it doesn't have a trackpad. So yeah, so it's a very desktop like setup. Next up is a Bluetooth keyboard. Shocking, right? <laughs> this is the Keychron K3, a low profile mechanical keyboard that looks absolutely stunning. If you wanna learn a little more about the keyboard, I'll link my video up here. But yeah, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. You'll type on this. Uh, <laughs> jokes aside, it is great to have a full size keyboard because not everybody's comfortable typing on the book cover case keyboard, no matter how good the key travel is. This is a 75% keyboard, which still makes it a very portable keyboard and it's full size, so very convenient to type on. Also, it is a mechanical keyboard, so it sounds great. Another sound test for you guys. So yeah, it's great if you're into the whole mechanical keyboard scene. And like I said, with the book cover case, you don't always want your tablet to be super close to you. So this gives you the flexibility to move your tablet a little further away for the best typing experience out there. Next up is an adjustable stand. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this coming, but yeah, this is great for desktop like setups. Just set it over here. You have your mouse, you have your keyboard, you have your stand, you finally all came together. The ultimate productivity setup. It's also great for adjusting your angle for video calls. Cause like I said earlier with the book cover case, you don't always want it as close to you as possible. So yeah, this gives you a much better viewing angle for both content and video calls. And one of my favorite features on the Tab S8 is having expandable storage. What a treat it is to have a micro SD card slot, which easily makes the next accessory a micro SD card. Like we all know what it's used for. We, we can store photos, videos, but I think the best feature is being able to transfer big apps onto this. It's a feature that's only available on Android. So you can easily transfer big games like Genshin Impact or Call of Duty onto this. And you don't ever have to worry about choosing the 128 gigabyte base model storage. Now, another good accessory for storage is an external solid state drive. This is the Western Digital My Passport. I got the two terabyte model and yeah, it's great. I can view older photos. I can look at my files from way back. I can back up pretty much anything that's on my tablet with the USB-C to C cable. It's just a really small shock proof, um, compact little hard drive that you can bring with you. So yeah, it's great. <laughs>
So the next device is a flash drive. This is the SanDisk Ultra Dual Drive Go. A little bit of a mouthful, but basically it's a USB-C drive that has a USB-C port and a USB-A port. So it's perfect for when you're on the go because you can transfer pretty much any file on any device. And it's perfect for me because I usually transfer files between devices that aren't necessarily compatible with each other, like Windows computers and my MacBook or my MacBook and the Tab S8. So yeah, it's a small device that you can bring pretty much anywhere and it's convenient in any circumstance. So yeah, you might lose it though because of how small it is, but it's still pretty neat. This has 128 gigabytes, which is more than enough. Next accessory is the Anchor Nano Pro. Now, unfortunately, the Tab S8 is shipping without any kind of charger in the box, which is fine because it is kind of the trend nowadays. And Anchor comes out with a lot of great stuff, so it's fine. This is the Anchor Nano Pro and it has two USB-C slots. It can charge up to 40 watts if you only have one thing plugged in. So yes, you can fast charge the Tab S8 with this, but you can also bring this to travel with you and you don't have to bring as many bricks. So yeah, that's perfect, sensational. It's a great little compact charging brick. The only thing I don't like about it is that the prongs don't fold down. But either way, it's still super compact and easy to use. Next up, we have a dongle. At this point in time, we all know what a dongle is used for, but I always bring one with me because I always bring my tablet with me when I'm out shooting because I might want to view whatever I shot that day, whether, whether it be photos or videos. This Anchor dongle does have two USB-A ports, so if you want to back something up, like if you have your external hard drive, you can easily do that. You get a micro SD card slot and a full SD card slot, but it also comes with an HDMI port so you can easily hook up your tab s8 to a tv or a monitor to either mirror it or even use the samsung dex feature when you're on the go to fully utilize the multitasking abilities of the tab s8 <laughs> So the Tab S8 has an 8,000 milliampere battery, which is more than enough for your day-to-day -day use case. But when you are traveling, you are using it a lot. When you're, you could be watching videos to pass the time or playing games, and your battery might drain before your flight ends, and we don't want that. So the next accessory is the power core essential from Anchor. This is a 20,000 milliampere power bank that has up to 20 watts in power delivery. So it will charge your tablet, not super fast, but relatively fast. Um, it's still kind of portable. I mean, it's pretty big. It's bigger than your usual battery, but it does have 20,000 milliamperes, which will charge your tab say twice and still have a little bit of juice left for other thing so yeah that's pretty much that it comes with this nice carrying case so yeah fun next up is a pair of wireless earphones so these are the sony link bud s earbuds and they're advertised as the lightest active noise canceling earbuds and it's crazy how light they are honestly but they are very very good noise canceling earphones you can barely hear anything and it's perfect for when you're traveling when you're in a plane you don't want to hear anything you just want to focus on whatever you're watching on your tablet so yeah these are just great little very aesthetic looking um earbuds so yeah So the last accessory I'm gonna be talking about is a sleeve, a carrying sleeve, pretty self-explanatory. So for cases like the book cover uh, slim, I feel like I've complained about the book cover slim too much. It's a great keyboard case, but it just doesn't cover the sides. So if you don't wanna risk denting your or scratching your tablet, just throw it in here and you can put this in your bag and you're good to go. It also has this little compartment for like extra accessories so you could easily put in like, uh, your charging brick, your power bank, uh, charging wires, your earphones, all of that. And it will be nice and organized inside your bag. So yeah, that is pretty much that for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
comment down below if you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned and I will try my best to answer. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.